Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Jason coming at you one more again. I'm coming at you with uh, uh, part 3 of uh, 2016 Atlanta Supercross, my view. Uh, one thing with me is always, no matter who it is, I always ask parents in motocross, do they got any advice to parents getting into the sport? Um, I've asked uh, Todd Bennett, I've asked uh, James Stewart Sr., I've asked uh, Alex Fry's dad, and <clears throat> at the core of it all, it's not about the money you spend, it's not about uh, the wins or anything like that, it's family, and the family that makes it to the top is the ones that stick together, and these riders, I mean, these parents give their view and their side, and at the same, at the same conclusion, it's all about the family sticking together and teaching their kid the work ethic, the process it takes to to be successful. To where if they're not even racing, you know, they can go sell golf balls. They're going to be the best at selling golf balls. And that's what motocross and that's what these parents are teaching their kid. Um... And in this clip and clip, I'm gonna show y'all uh, Big James give out advice to to parents getting in, and also show you a clip of uh, Malcolm. Uh, he's warming up before his heat, and uh, Big Mike Larocco is like looking over his numbers as he's as he's on the roar. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. much attention to him because I was tracking Melton. Melton's fast rider, fast lap, real smooth, nice and relaxed. Bike is bike is pulling him and he's pulling the bike. Has he lost weight though? Oh yeah. He's solid. 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 He's on the top of the board for top uh, second and a half ahead of the field. So you think championship is? And he's he just cruising. I think uh he's gonna run for the championship and uh Basically, uh, take it. What you think about Fry, though? What you think? Fry, this is his first one? Yeah. This is his first one across. Yeah, he, he ran. This is his second year. He crashed out uh, a year ago, got hurt, and then he came back. This is actually going to be the first time back since he's been injured. Okay. Uh, he may run pretty good. But you need to come out check out my two guys, man. I will. Kristen Griggs and Dax Bennett, both of those sponsors. Yeah. Uh, Kristen's Team Green, Dax is once from Gay KTN. All right. All right.
got one. And if you learn how to get one bike and you maintain one motorcycle, you'll keep going. But you have four bikes and you start robbing parts from that one to that one. And you still only have one. Just remember that. You need one good bike okay. at all times. Okay. Not four bikes. Okay. Okay. You can have four of everything, but then you only go ride one. Okay. I watch these guys do it over and over and over and over. Over and over and over and over. When me and James went to the Nationals, Loretta Lynn, born national, we had two motorcycles total. Total from the year. For the whole year. Okay? We didn't have five, six, seven bikes. You can't maintain all those bikes. Okay? You can't. So when you go to the National, at Loretta Lynn, you have two motorcycles. That second bike is your spare parts. Okay. Don't buy five, six motorcycles. Okay. You can't afford it. Today's time is different. It's, it's totally different from when we raced as young kids. It's different. So try to maintain one bike and one practice bike. But remember, you only have one race bike. Okay. Okay. okay? All right. All right. And you have money in your pocket to get to that next level. Right, right. If you're buying all those motorcycles... Like people think there's a lot, it takes money to get this. But it, it takes, it takes some smartness. You gotta be smart with your money. Okay? I, I feel you throw money away by buying five or six motorcycles. Right, right. Okay? Because at the end, when your kid make it to a big race, you're gonna dump them off to try to get one. So if you have one bike and maintain it, you got money to go to that next level. Right, okay. Okay, yeah, up at, at the compound, we got guys coming in, I mean, they're sponsored, and their parents got big motor homes, and their kids just at the amateur level, you know? You don't have to follow that, okay? Malcolm had the biggest rig ever. You know, we was one of the first one to have the stacker and all of that stuff, okay? But, when Little James went racing, we had a three-rail trailer. Load him up in the back of the, in the car when we had to go a long way. So you don't take all these big rigs, man. You know, this is not a talent show where you're going to where you, I got the biggest and the best. That doesn't win races. All that's doing is making payments. You gotta worry about how you gonna make that payment and go to that next race. Forget about all of that. Stay low key. Stay low key. You want the guys to talk about you when you drive in the pits. Okay? You don't want to say, oh, man, look at that. You're like, man, that's a fast kid. That's a fast kid. That man is spending his money right. He's not wasting it. He's wasting it buying those big rigs. Absolutely waste. You don't have to have that big luxury motor home. You don't. Get you something where you can get to that next level. And be comfortable with it. If you spread yourself that thin, all it, all it what it leads to is frustration, then you put it on the kid. Because you said, I spent all this money for you. No, you're not. You're spending it for you. That kid didn't ask you that. He didn't say, Daddy, buy that big rig. He didn't say, Daddy, go do that. You did it. You know why you did it? Because you want to be like the Joneses. Right, there you go. Okay? So, I'm just giving you some word advice because yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been in both sides of it. Yeah. Okay? I'm just telling you, you don't need that big rig. Okay. You don't need it. Okay. What you need to do is be tight with your family, man. Because money breaks family apart. Okay? Whether you got it or spending it, it breaks family apart. So, that's, right. that's right. my little advice oh, to yeah. you, man. Oh, that's yeah. a brother. That's oh, all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, oh, yeah. tread light. That's yeah. all I can tell you. Yeah. Tread light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I drove all the way, I drove 14 hours, okay, from my house to Muddy Creek, hey, that's with my awesome. motorcycle in the trunk of the car, okay? Uh, and you know what we did? What's that? We unloaded out of the trunk of the car, kicked butt, put it back in the trunk of the car, and drove back, and I went to work. <laughs> okay? I just want to say we're super steep, so you back. Thank you. He's on the house. Yeah, y'all need to come on, check out this and that. Hold on, bro. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah, y'all need to come up? Yeah. Like too, like too many bikes, then your bike ends up at the campfire.
So, Mr. Stewart, thank you. Them guys, I mean, they, they orange the game now, you know? Yeah. So, one more, Mr. Stewart. He's good. You were good? Yeah. I was around the oh, corner. Oh, oh, man. You good? I looked for y'all 75. I said, James, I'll uh, be in on the phone. He's the guy I'm talking about. He's the guy I'm talking about. He's the guy I'm talking about. Hey. Y'all need to come up and check out the Bennett compound. Okay, well here, let me know. It's Orange Brigade. Yeah? Yeah. We got Deegan up there, too. Nico? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got Deegan.